Emotional and physical stress can have both protective and damaging effects on the human body. These stressors activate the sympathetic nervous system and hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, releasing catecholamines and glucocorticoids, mediating the function of multiple organ systems. This physiologic allostatic response is essential for survival on a short-term scale. However, chronic stimulation and overproduction of stress hormones can produce pathophysiological states. The ABCs of osteopathic medicine provide a framework for incorporating OMT by addressing autonomic innervation, biomechanics, and circulation to diagnose and treat somatic dysfunction and facilitate homeostasis. Additionally, a screening exam encourages global considerations of the patient beyond the obvious chief complaint or the specific region of somatic dysfunction. OMT used to treat somatic dysfunction can have overlap related to autonomics, biomechanics, circulation, and screening. For this demonstration, two examples will be covered, lumbar high velocity low amplitude or HVLA and upper thoracic facilitated positional release or FPR. HVLA of a facilitated L1 or L2 segment viewed through the lens of the ABCs can improve autonomic tone by addressing sympathetic chain ganglia, biomechanical restrictions by increasing range of motion, and circulation by releasing the curl attachments to increase diaphragmatic excursion. Lumbar HVLA is a direct passive technique. To treat L1 extended rotated left segment left, the patient lies on their left side with their left arm abducted. Facing the patient, the physician palpates the iliac crest at the level of L4, and from there, counts up to L1. The patient's hips are flexed until the L1 facets attempt to open, indicating it at, it's at its flexion barrier. The physician asks the patient to straighten the bottom leg and places the right foot in the popliteal fossa without losing the flexion barrier. While continuing to palpate L1, the physician places the right forearm in the patient's axilla. The patient's pelvis is axially rotated toward the physician while keeping the torso in a static position or slightly rotated posteriorly. Once a firm barrier is palpated in both side bending and rotation, a high velocity low amplitude thrust is delivered through the left forearm in a combined anterior and superior vector. An audible pop may occur, but the effectiveness of the technique is solely determined by reassessing the somatic dysfunction. The second technique, upper thoracic facilitated positional release, can also be used to treat multiple ABCs such as improving autonomic tone by addressing sympathetic chain ganglia, biomechanical restrictions by improving restriction of motion in the thorax, and circulation by alleviating fascial restrictions associated with the thoracic inlet. To treat T1 flex rotated right side bent right with FPR, the patient is supine with the physician sitting at the head of the patient. The region of somatic dysfunction is placed into its neutral position with the aid of the pillow, which unloads the joints and may also affect both proprioceptive and nociceptive elements. For the spine, the articular facets are placed into an idling position between flex and extended extremes. Through the head contact, the physician applies a facilitating force, typically compression or distraction, in this example, compression, to the facilitated segment and maintained throughout the treatment. Further positioning of the somatic dysfunction is applied into all three directions of relative freedom. In this case, flexion, rotation right, and side bending right. This position is held for approximately five seconds, after which the region is returned to its original position and the activating force is released. The segment is then reassessed. OMT that focuses on optimizing autonomic innervation biomechanics, circulatory function, and screening may be effective in diagnosing and treating somatic dysfunction associated with increased allostatic load. Utilizing OMT as a treatment modality to lower allostatic load may help to facilitate homeostasis and decrease the accelerated risk of disease in the majority of patients who experience stress in their daily lives. The techniques demonstrated in this video are not intended to treat any specific clinical condition but are the only one aspect of the diagnosis and treatment plan an osteopathic physician would utilize to address the whole patient.